Let's start with the new chapter today. The new chapter that we are going to start after application of derivatives is integrals or integration. Now this is also under the calculus unit and it is very important because the next two chapters are based on this only. So integration or integrals, what is it? How is it related to the previous chapter of differentiation? Let's see. I start with an example. Suppose I have been given a function y and it is x raised to the power 4. Now y is equal to x raised to the power 4. What is my dy by dx? It is nothing but 4x cube that you must know. Next example that I take, again I have a function y, this time it is x power 4 plus 4. What is dy by dx? My dy by dx is equal to 4x cube. Next again one example, let's see, I have my y is equal to x4 minus 2. What is my dy by dx? that is equal to 4x cube. So what do you observe in these examples? You see that irrespective of whatever, I cons whatever constant I add or subtract to x raised to the power 4, I get the same result 4x cube, 4x cube, 4x cube. That means what? That means 4x cube is there which is the answer that comes when I differentiate the given function x raised to the power 4 or x raised to the power 4 plus something, some constant or x raised to the power 4 minus some constant. Even this can be written as x raised to the power 4 plus of minus 2. So whatever function is given to you, I am talking about a function fx. If I differentiate it to get f dash x, and f dash x I observe is coming out to be the same even if I have different functions. That means there is something or the other which is more of depth in differentiation. So now the reverse process of differentiation is called as integration. The reverse process of differentiation I repeat is called as integration. That means if I have 4x cube, obtaining x raised to the power 4 from 4x cube or obtaining x raised to the power 4 plus 4 or obtaining x raised to the power 4 minus 2 from 4x cube is called as my integration. That is it. That is the base. So that means I will be having f dash x and I would want to obtain fx my function from f dash x that we are going to see in this chapter. This is the overview of this chapter. The other thing, now if I have been given say 4x cube, I know that the answer could either be x raised to the power 4 or x raised to the power 4 plus 4 or x raised to the power 4 minus 2 or x raised to the power 4 minus 1 or x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by 2. Whatever the function was, all would give me 4x cube. That means x raised to the power 4 is fixed. x raised to the power 4 does not change. It will be there only. But if x raised to the power 4 only is there, that is a problem. Because what about all these answers then? So the answer would be x raised to the power 4 plus any constant. That arbitrary constant can be anything. It can be 1 minus 1. It can be 1 by 2. It can be minus 1 by 2 and so on. So that is important that what is the constant that we do not know it can be any arbitrary constant so i have to add plus c to all my answers in integration the first thing and integration is also called as antiderivative because you are basically going for the reverse process of differentiation it is also called as primitive so these words are also important because everybody will remember integration and differentiation but people forget these names and when they come in the exam, they don't know what to do. So, antiderivative and primitive is the other word. The next important thing that you have to know is, always this arbitrary constant would not be added. We are going to study two types of integration here. One is your indefinite. Indefinite integration would have this arbitrary constant, which is known as constant of integration. 
the other that we are going to study is definite in the later course of the chapter so stay tuned for more videos on this chapter and let's know integration in much more detail